Welcome back to the Husky Highlight Show. I'm Lauren Lemieux, sports video producer for The Daily. And I'm Jacob Thorpe, sports columnist for The Daily. And we're here just outside the Staples Center after the Huskies' two-point loss to the Oregon Skate Beavers. The final score was 86-84, and let's get straight to the game's highlights. Freshman guard Tony Roten got things started for the Huskies. He was the leading scorer for the team with 13 points in the first half. But overall, the UW struggled on defense and could not find a rhythm offensively. They went into halftime trailing the Oregon State Beavers by 13 at 46-33. The Huskies slowly made their way back in the second half, and with 12.34 left to play, C.J. Wilcox hit this three-pointer to tie the game at 54-54. Abdul Gaddy finished the game with 13 points and six assists. Ross had 15 points, and Wilcox had 16. But most impressively, Tony Roten brought home 29 points for the Huskies. With 18 seconds left to play, Oregon State was up one at 84-83. And it looked like it was going to be Roten with his inside drives to the hoop to the rescue for the Huskies, but the freshman went 0 for 4 from the line for his last free throw attempts, and OSU came away with the win. The final score was Beavers 86, Huskies 84. The Huskies were the number one seed going into this tournament, but they fell to the number nine seed Oregon State today. Jacob, what does this mean for them moving forward in terms of tournament play? Well, unfortunately, their chances of getting the NCAA tournament are now out of their hands. They don't have any more chance to improve impress the selection committee and by losing today they're definitely not a lock to get in. They can still make it but they're going to need the right teams to win and lose in conference tournaments because if those at-large bids start going to teams that win their conference tournaments that weren't expected to get in all of a sudden the Huskies could be out of spots. They're going to be sweating bullets on selection Sunday because it's no guarantee whether or not they'll get in. And even though the Huskies lost today they still did finish the season as the Pac-12 conference champions. Jacob what do you think that says about this team with all the early injuries and things they ran into this season. Well, you're right, Lauren. This team overcame a lot of adversity, and it's really a very young team. Of their best three players, I'd say two are sophomores and one's a freshman. However, if they don't make it to the NCAA tournament, this season's going to have a big asterisk next to that Pac-12 championship, because they're always going to be that one team that won it in a year. The conference was so bad, they didn't even make the tournament. They've really got to make the NCAA tournament, and this season's going to have a big black mark on it. Well, I'm not in there me, you know, I would think, I know we haven't won as many games as we should have in non-conference as a league, I would think the Pac-12 champion would be able to find a place in the NCAA tournament. We certainly didn't help ourselves today. So even though Tony missed those last four free throws at the end, he still had 29 points this game. Jacob, what do you think his performance today says in terms of him being ready to move into the NBA? Well, if he ever showed that he was ready for the NBA, it was tonight, Lord. He, he did play very well. He was unstoppable for most of the game. He was the catalyst for the Huskies' big comeback when they were down 15. Yes, he missed those big four free throws, but he was still 9 of 15. Although I do think he should come back another year. His jump shot still needs work. He still isn't a great free throw shooter. If he ever was going to show that he really can make it work at the NBA level, I think it was today. He's been... Uh... He's been really good. There are times he's been exceptional. So tonight he was really aggressive getting to the basket. You know, he got fouled a lot. Uh, when he's playing in that type of rhythm, finding those holes in defense, he can be pretty effective, and he was tonight, today. That's all we have for you today on the Husky Highlight Show. Thanks for watching with us all season. For Jacob, I'm Lauren. We'll see you next year. Minimal possession, ball game. Oregon State has done it. They have upset the number one seed Washington Huskies here in the Pacific Live Pac-12 Tournament.